Rocking to the ancient rhythm. Rocking to the ancient rhythm. Love is my religion. Good morning, friends and family. Nice to see you guys again. Um, this is yours truly, Odilon Alexander Koso Ngu. Today, we are going to talk about the relationship between three things. These three things are the truth, the consensus mechanism, and the currency. For those of you who are familiar with my work, you know this fact. You know that I am obsessed with the truth. I've been obsessed with the truth for years, since I was a young boy. Think of the great philosophers. What were they in search of? What were they looking for? In simple terms, they were looking for the key to the universe, the law of nature, the algorithm of God. How did God program our universe, program our reality, program our existence? That is what the truth is. The truth is what are the governing principles? of our universe, of nature, of our existence. And philosophers have dedicated their lives to discovering this truth. And today, I would like to let you guys know that not only have I discovered the truth, I found a relationship that is so important and this relationship is the relationship between the truth the consensus mechanism and the currency and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about how those three are related so what do I even mean when I say the truth? Some of you might ask. What I mean is the governing principles, the laws of nature. Think about artificial intelligence. Think about the AI program that you use. But now imagine that some entity, some phenomena, was able to program our reality. What did he program? What code did he program that governs the interactions of us and our environment? So that is the truth. And that is what philosophers, mathematicians, just academics have been in search of for thousands of years. Why is this so important? This is important because if we discover the truth, then this thing becomes something that nobody can refute. So this will create a consensus on planet Earth with all humans. The only thing that can allow us as a civilization to have a consensus is the truth because the truth is the only consensus. Hence, the truth would allow us to have a consensus mechanism. And this consensus mechanism would become the first pillar of our economic system, of our currency. Hence, 
the relationship between the truth, the consensus mechanism, and the currency. When I say consensus mechanism, what do I mean by that? Think about the English language. Think about the fact that when you travel the globe, the English language is the language that is used to communicate at a global level. Think about the US dollar. Anywhere you go on the planet, the US dollar is accepted. This is the consensus. The consensus is when we all agree that this thing represents what or the highest level what we use to interact with each other. And the argument that I'm making is that the only true consensus mechanism is the truth. Because the truth cannot be misinterpreted by a human. The truth exists. It precedes human existence. It's the governing principles. It's the law of nature. It's what governed our emergence. So it was here before we even existed, essentially. So I believe the truth is the only true consensus mechanism. Hence, if we are to create a true currency, we must use the truth. What does this mean? This means that all other existing currencies that don't use the truth as a consensus mechanism are not real currencies. All fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum that were programmed by a programmer in a computer system are not based on truth. They are not pegged to the truth. So they can't be true currencies. And that's why it's so important to know the relationship between the truth, the consensus mechanism, and the currency. Thank you guys. My name is Otilong Alexander Kosungu, also known as the man who killed the equal sign. Thank you. <laughs>